Welcome back, everyone. Brush up those resumes, mark your calendars. Congressman David Scott's annual jobs fair is back, and it's helping Georgians find gainful employment all across our great state. Mark your calendar this Friday, April 12th, marked 16 years of him hosting this tremendous event. This year he has partnered with U.S. Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue, and we are honored to have both of them in the studio. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, hey, hey. This is so great. Sir, it's such an honor to meet you Thank and you. my friend, Congressman David Scott. I only get to see him twice a year because <laughs> he's so busy doing tremendous things. And I know this year you're really excited because you have partnered with with Secretary Purdue on a huge initiative, and let's tell everyone all about it and how they can oh, get involved. Thank you so very much, and I tell you, it's, it's an historic achievement that we were able to do in a very, very historical bipartisan way with Democrats and Republicans coming together and being able to pass legislation for $80 million in scholarships for the African-American land-grant colleges and universities, 19 of them. That's incredible. And uh, it couldn't have been done. And, I, you know, what is so amazing about this is that how it all came together. And I really appreciate you mentioning this and giving us an opportunity because um, Secretary Purdue provided the needed help and his administration in the Agriculture Department will administer the $80 million in scholarship and worked hard for us to do it. And then again, our own senator here, Senator David Perdue, God bless him. When we were negotiating this, you know, I figured you have to give fights and you have to get in there and go. Then they took the money out from being mandatory for the scholarships. I picked up the phone. Yeah, you knew who to I call. called <laughs> I called uh to David Perdue, who also sits on the Ag Committee in the Senate, to ask. And David was able to make moves and get the mandatory money back into the program. So uh, in this time of such division, it is so good. The American people we are crying people out see this, yes. to see how Democrats and Republicans work together. Yes, for a common goal. And and for anyone who is really uh, not aware of what your role entails, talk to us about what you're doing. Well, USDA is a broad, vast agency. It affects so many people, obviously from farm programs are what we think about, but from the Forest Service, the food safety, for agricultural research, for research and development, rural development, all those kind of things. And the scholarships at David's bill, he's been working on it five years, got it wow. in the farm bill. Mandatory money means that he doesn't need to, have to go beg from the appropriators every Good. year. It's there. And these students will benefit through jobs in agriculture, which are high-tech jobs. When you talk about STEM education, mm -hmm. uh, this is really a good STEM education in so many ways, and they're going to be uh, they're going to be available to them for the students all across the country here. Now, who's going to be eligible for these scholarships? Every and anybody to come and to qualify. What makes this program so special is these 19 land-grant African American colleges and universities were the big ones. They came about right after the Civil War. And when Plessy Vergus Ferguson was passed, separate but equal. So everywhere they had a land grant, like the University of Georgia, here comes Fort Valley. University of Florida, they had Florida A and M. In Alabama, University of Alabama, but they put Alabama A and M and Tuskegee, 19, in all these different states. And what uh, the secretary mentioned, these African American colleges universities are grounded in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, all of the areas. Our jobs and our industries are changing so rapidly because of technology. Sure, they have to be And up on, here's yeah. the other beauty point. At these schools, these 19 African American colleges, every race, creed, color, background, goes to these schools. Yeah, it's, it's so it's wonderful. open to everybody. And we will have people at the jobs fair Good. That was to my be next able question. to so get in for more information. Bring their resume. And uh, as I said, the other beauty about this is 
that uh, Secretary Purdue and the Agriculture Secretary, as the Agriculture Secretary, will be the one administering the program. Wow. Isn't that wonderful? So you're going to be out there, and, and we're encouraging everyone to come out, not just those applying for the scholarships, but those looking for other jobs, jobs as yeah. well. And it, I know you've always talked about the importance of the employers who are coming out uh, wanting to put our veterans back to work, right? Oh, yeah. And the, I'm so glad you mentioned that because we really work hard to make sure. And the other point is, hey, let me tell you, uh, Chandra just told me, my, my district director, who champions all this great work. <laughs> she just told me she received the latest information. We're going to have 147 employers looking to fill over 10,000 10, jobs. That's incredible. Yeah. The economy is thriving. It, it is thriving, yes. And, and so that's why I say, and then on top of that, we will have the VA there. The head of the VA will be there. And not only to talk about the jobs that they will be hiring for veterans, but also we will have the head of the VA Medical Center because so many of our veterans are suffering from PTSD and other areas of health care. So we want to make sure that we cover the waterfront. Right. So if you know a veteran in need of a job or health care, make sure that they get yes. their things. And I want to make sure to tell everyone that date once again. Thank you both for being here. Thank it's you. such it's an honor to thank finally you meet you. And of course, thank you for all of your great work that you're doing here. Uh, we so appreciate it. All these many years. 16th is right. And I want to thank WXIA 11 Alive for being with me all 16 of you know years. It. We wouldn't have it any other way, sir. That's right. Thank Once you. again, please don't miss that jobs fair. It is Friday, April 12th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Georgia International Convention Center. Simply visit davidscott.com.